In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really comfy, very simple dog bed which you can adjust in size if you wanted to. So you can make it smaller for a smaller dog or even for a cat, make it larger if you have a larger dog. Now it has a zip all the way across the back so I can take the cushion pad out if I need to wash this. I can't take the padding out of the sides but I have used a washable toy filler so that's not necessary. So let's take a look at the materials, what you need to cut and then we'll get sewing. The cushion pad that I'm using measures 24 inches square. So I've cut the top of my fabric to 25 inches square. Unlike when I'm making um, cushions for the home where I like them pretty nice and plump. So I'll cut the fabric to the same size as the cushion pad so you really squash them in. I don't want this to be too full. I want it to lay quite flat. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room around the edge. So 25 inch square of top fabric. So put that to one side for now and we're going to take the two rectangular pieces for the back of the cushion and sew the zip in. The right sides together, making sure the slider on the zip is facing downwards and I'm just going to go straight down the side. Now you can put the zipper foot on your sewing machine if you wish um, sometimes you don't need to. With this machine I've moved the needle over um, to the quarter of an inch marking so it's moved over to the left hand side so I can sew straight down the centre of the zip without, um, without putting the zipper foot on. So stop with the needle in the down position and then off we go. So I'm sewing straight down the centre of the zip tape When I come to that slider, I'll stop the machine and move it out of the way. So I'm not manoeuvring around it. So needle in the down position, move the zip and carry on. And then we'll sew the opposite side of the zip to the opposite side of the fabric. And I like to sew from the zip side so I can see exactly where I'm going and line up the edges of the fabric and sew down this side. Fabric wise, I'm just using cotton fabric. It's quite sturdy. Um, if you wanted something a little bit more hard wearing, then denim would be good, canvas, ticking, um, any kind of home decor or upholstery fabric would work well, so something a little bit heavier. Again, let's move that slider out of the way, carry on. So there's the zip in. One thing I'm just going to do to make life a little bit easier um, is to sew the end of the zip closed. Because when I come to um, constructing the whole bed and turning the whole thing the right side out, um, it's going to be easier with the end of the zip put together, just so it doesn't part while I'm sewing. So that is the back. The zip's a little bit too long. So I'll just snip that off. Now let's take a look at the side panels. So I've got four of these pieces. I need to fold in half wrong sides together. I've cut my ribbon into strips and I'm just going to measure a couple of inches from the top of the fold and pin to one side of the fabric the ribbon facing inwards. 
and the same on this side. And then I'll just sew those in place. So again, just on one side. Making sure you take the pins out as you go. And I'm sewing within the seam allowance. So I'm going to use a half inch seam allowance. So I'm just making sure that those tacking stitches are within that half inch. And then with the ribbons facing inwards, I'm going to fold this over right sides together. And sew completely along one end, leave this long one open. And on this side, I'm going to leave a hole of around about three inches, because that's where I'm going to put the stuffing. Doesn't matter which end you leave the gap. I'm just putting my needle back to the center. So back stitch at the end of the, the gap just to make that seam a little bit stronger because um, you're going to be putting a lot of stuffing in there shortly. And we'll sew all the way across the other side. You make sure the ribbon's tucked out of the way so you're not folding over it, sewing over it. There we go. So we'll turn this the right side out. So we have this, and you'll need to make four of those. Then we'll take the front of the bed, just make a bit of space here. And these side pieces are going to be sewn facing inwards to each side of the bed. So you should have, if, when you place these in the centre, you should have a centimetre either end for your seam allowance. So again, we'll pop a few pins in. So we'll sew across here. I've already made up my other sides and they're going to go all the way around. And we're left with this. So the next thing to do is to sew the back on, that's the zip section. So again, we'll fold all of these flaps and the ribbons out of the way. A good idea to make it easier when you come to sewing in the corners is to fold these flaps away from the corner so you get a nice clean area here. Because when we sew the back on, what we don't want to do is to trap any of these sections inside the seam. And then this goes straight over the top. Now, if at this point you realise, like mine actually, that the, um, the zip compartment or the zip side is slightly larger, that depends on the size or the width of the zip that you're using. Um, so I've allowed a half inch to add the zip in the centre, but if your zip's a little bit wider, that gap might be wider, so therefore the whole thing's going to be wider. So it's not a problem. I'm going to pin this in place with the zip centrally. And then if there's any extra fabric at the side, I can just trim that away. So I'm pinning straight across those corner pieces. So again, I'm not sewing them together. And 
and these fold those out of the way it's very easy to sew over the ribbons so do make sure that they're all pointing away from the seam and starting to get a, a little bit bulky here but it's fine we need the zip open or at least partially open perhaps we won't be able to turn it the right side out there's my final corner and then I'm going to sew all around the edge Let's turn the whole thing the right side out. Push out the corners. We're almost finished. So let's first of all insert the pillow pad into the into the bed and this can be any shape you like once you've understood the technique then you could make a, a rectangular bed if that suits better and any kind of pillow pad that you wanted inside here if you can't find the size in your local store then um, you could make your own it's just a, a calico bag really full of toy filler uh, it's an idea to have um, a washable toy filler as well so there's my bed so far looking so comfortable So what I'll need to do now is to take my toy filler, this is quite time consuming, open up the ends of the, where are you, the ends of these tubes that are left open and I'm going to push toy filler inside. And I'm actually going to use the round end of a knitting needle to help push it down. So don't put lumps in that are too big, although it's tempting because it'll get all knotty. So take your time with this. Sit and watch a movie. Watch Create and Craft. And you can make this as firm as you like. So now all those four tubes are stuffed with toy filler. I'm just going to hand sew the opening closed just with an over edge stitch. I'm not worried about this being an invisible stitch or ladder stitching or anything because you won't see them because these are in the corners anyhow. So just closing all of those. And then I'll tie that off in a nice strong knot. So all I need to do now is to draw up the ribbons at the side and tie them. Do the same in all four corners, it will flip up. There we go. Looks really comfy, doesn't it? My dog bed is finished.